We're here at Port Canaveral on May 27th, 2022, Memorial Day weekend, about to board our first Disney cruise ever. And I'm gonna bring you along for the whole process. This is a three night cruise on the Disney Dream to the Bahamas. We're gonna go to Castaway Key, Disney's private island. We're gonna eat, we're gonna watch shows, we're gonna do all the fun things. Like I kinda know what to expect, but I kinda don't. So just come along and join us. We live in Orlando, Florida. So it was about an hour and 15 minute drive to Port Canaveral. We dropped off our bags with the porter and then we got in line to do our COVID testing. Right now as of May, 2022, it's a very simple streamlined process, but it's going to change in June. So right now you pull in, you do a COVID test right there in the parking lot. You wait in a spot, which is what we're doing right now. We're waiting for our results. Once you're clear, you head into the terminal and you can go ahead and get on the cruise. They bring your luggage right to your room. By the way, from where we're parked, waiting for our results, we can see the Disney dream. I, I can barely contain my excitement. It's also a perfect, beautiful day. That was so fast. Within just a few minutes, we got the email, embarkation test results available. All members in your reservation party have completed the embarkation testing process. Your reservation status is... What is it? What is it? Clear to sail. We're clear to sail! Yeah. All right, we're walking over. It is beautiful. The weather honestly could not be better. People are still hustling and bustling, dropping off their luggage, and a lot of people are already on board. Look how cute that is. Mickey's as far as the eye can see. Okay, time to get on board. Down to guest check-in. So far, our cast members have been amazing doing the check-in. Discover uncharted magic, look at this. We passed through security, it was very simple. Oh my gosh. Wow, look how empty it is right now. Oh, I know. Was it packed earlier? It was earlier, much <laughs> earlier. But oh. then we went to open boarding, so anytime anyone comes oh. in, they'll go straight on. Board. Oh, that's oh. wonderful. I love the model of the ship. I've been wanting to see that so much. Yeah, the other side's open, right? Yes. How cool. And this is the magic, Daddy. not the dream. Ah, uh, okay. Daddy. So cool. Now boarding all groups. The Mickey ears that you walk through, there are the bags going onto the ship. Right before we board, we're just gonna take a nice look at it. We're about to walk right on. And here we go. Wow, we're getting on super chill. No crowds and no lines. It's time. That was a lot. A lot. <laughs> okay, so we're going to F. We're going straight to our muster station, you guys. Wow, F. She said go to uh, Buena Vista Theater. Look at how beautiful this is. So yeah, maybe this is it, yeah. Yeah, Buena Vista Theater. All right, muster drill, complete. Don't be. I did purchase a photo package for the cruise, so we'll be getting as many pics as we can. And here's Mickey greeting all the guests, that gorgeous first chandelier. I read that the theming of this ship is the golden age of like cruising and ship liners. So it's all art deco mixed with modern. There's Mickey's everywhere. It's really beautiful. This way. Wow! Our key should be right in there. This is it. <laughs> all right, let me show you around the room. We got a deluxe. Ocean View stateroom with veranda. So we got like a little living room here. And let me show you the veranda first because that's, that's the main thing here, right? We had to, oh, we had to get, this is like our little balcony, a veranda. So right now, obviously we're still at Port Canaveral 
We're gonna have a sail away party. But this is probably where we're gonna spend a good deal of time, here on this veranda. This is gorgeous, I can smell the sea air. It's lovely. Let's keep that close so it stays nice and cool in here. You tighten that up and you can feel it, like, seal it up. There are just beautiful little details everywhere. These stamps. Disney stamps. That's so cool. Little lamps here. This is cool. So this is different places where Disney cruise ships are located around the world. Neat. Now I want to show you the part I think we're all curious about, right? The bathroom situation. So it's divided in half. One half is the toilet. Perfectly fine. Perfectly suitable. Tiniest sink in the world. H2O Plus products. I like that. This will do. Okay. The other half is, I'm guessing, the shower. Got towels over here. Another little sink. Disney Cruise Line H2O Plus. Ocean, a little makeup wipe. Some storage. And we got a tub. I like that they give you like a lot of product. And then there are these. I was wondering about those. To pull across the shower, to hang up like your wet bathing suits and stuff. I was hoping they had those. They have two, so that's good. All right, looks good. And here's a closet. Our luggage hasn't arrived yet, but we put the bags we were just carrying right in here. Life vests, hangers, you know, the necessities. What's this one? Just more, more storage. Laundry bag, safe. The room's comfy, cozy, perfect to our liking. I, I already feel really good. Good vibes in here, good vibes. So we're on the deck eight. I was about to eighth floor deck eight and yeah we'll be showing you more of the room throughout this day but I guess we're gonna get something to eat and get ready for the sail away party so we can see here we're eight five seven eight we're midship I wanted to be midship to have the most like stability on the ship as I could I guess when you're facing the front of the ship port side is left starboard is right and aft is the back of the ship just some ship terms to know. Okay, actually there's a fridge in here too. So Sorry. each adult, right? Yeah, each adult can bring either. Oh, <laughs> I brought a ton of water. We brought a bunch of water. So each adult can bring either six beers or two bottles of wine or Prosecco. Yeah. So we did do that. So I bought two beers. Two beers. <laughs> and we bought Prosecco. So we can we cheers can and celebrate, yeah. And uh, my favorite beer. Two beers. Two, don't ask why two. Don't ask, just, just <laughs> And whatever. then we got some white some wine. Some white if wine, we want just, it. just if we want it, and then some water. Yeah, yeah that was uh, a lot getting on, wasn't it? It as really someone, was. As, as two people who don't really know, we have what no idea doing. what's happening. <laughs> so, like, we just came in, like, sent us up there, scan that. Okay. Get it done. Very easy. Yeah. Surprisingly easy. Yeah, very easy, very streamlined. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even for first timers, we were like, <laughs> where do we a, go? What do we do? It was a little overwhelming. Yeah. But very exciting. And the room is great. This is like plenty like obviously it's small, but it's more spacious than I honestly thought it was gonna be They got like a oh, yeah pull down this. Bunk bed, And this turns into a bed so if you have so more people. this pulls down and Then yeah, like Sam said this turns into a bunk bed I like a little like nautical star This is the the logo the Disney Cruise Line logo an anchor And a Mickey All right, let's go look for food and do stuff I can't believe we're here. This is so unreal. Concept art created for the film. We've got some beautiful concept art here. Peter Pan. We're taking the stairs this time because the elevators are very, very busy right now. It does, it does smell like a Disney hotel. It smells fresh and clean. Little Mermaid. This is deck 11. Deck 11, okay. This is where the food is? Cabana is the buffet, yeah. Woohoo! So here's like a look at the ship, right? So forward, mid, aft. Cabanas is right at that. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, it's warm out here, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's a pool. That's why it's warm. Wow. The aqua duck, I am riding that thing. That is the aqua duck, the slide. I'm very excited to ride that at some point during our stay. Maybe today, who knows? Look at that, how cool. And then there's like these little 
side pools. Yeah, we're definitely getting in all the pools. All right, our first time at Cabana's, right over here is vanilla peas. We'll try that too. But this is the buffet. Are you ready to eat, Sam? Because I know I am. I'm ready. Hello. When you first enter, uh, they ask you to wash your hands at the hand washing station. I think that's really nice. All right, so let's just get food, I guess. Whoa, 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 wow. So much. I started out with a little bit of a hodgepodge. I got some steak, some pizza, some mashed potatoes, some veggie fried rice, one chicken tender, two pieces of cod, some pasta salad, some corn, a little salad, an iced tea, and I'm sure I'll be getting more. I just kind of wanted a little hodgepodge to start with. Down there you can see where we went in to do the COVID testing, like it was a really quick drive through and to park. And there's the walkway over there. Also here's the drink station. You can get tea and coffee too, I like that. I really like the dining room, like look at these palm trees in here. It's so cute and it's separated into little sections and it's like repeating sections of buffet. It's really nice the way they did it. It's like I'm walking on waves. I'm gonna change into sandals soon, don't worry. But look at what I got! Oh man, this looks so nice. I got pumpkin pie and chocolate marquise and she put like a little white chocolate square on top. I love looking at all the like ship details, like look at the ties there. I'm gonna be very excited to see the sailing away. We're gonna explore the ship definitely, as much as we can see of it. So while we're sitting here, and I also got a tea, I love that you can just get unlimited coffee, tea, anything you want. We're checking out the itinerary. There is so much going on, and I went in and hearted a bunch of stuff. Let's see, I'm hearting a bunch of stuff, but there's like, there's like trivia, music, movies, shows, just tons of stuff. I hearted a few of the like pub quizzes, trivias, Disney music, character photo, character photo. This sandcastle art shows the different Disney parks. We have Hong Kong, Tokyo, Walt Disney World Orlando, Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris. And then they have clocks with the times at the different Disney parks around the world too. That's cool. Wow. It just smells so good. Okay, so there are drink stations by the pool too with the go cups. So you can get soda to go, and you can also get coffee and tea to go. It is mayhem here. Let's go back to the room. I want to get in that slide so bad. So up here on this funnel, they show movies, and there's the Sail Away Party banner. That's exciting. From here, we can see Kennedy Space Center. I can see the, the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building, right out there. We're still making our way to our room though. We're just stopping to look at everything. We'll definitely be getting some ice cream throughout our stay too. The ice cream station is packed right now. The fact that they played Disney music all over the ship. Our bags are here! All right. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, and people decorate their stateroom doors with magnets, so I did bring a magnet. Good afternoon, Disney Dream. This is your assistant cruise director, Hat Annie, speaking on behalf of our captain, Jason, and all the crew. It is an honor and pleasure to welcome you on board the beautiful Disney Dream. If you have not yet downloaded the Disney See then. Navigator, we did it. Oh, and I closed the door, you can't hear it at all. Wow. It is time to have our Prosecco before the sail away party. We're so ready to celebrate. We're ready to celebrate, we're ready to sail away. Sail away, sail away. Oh boy. Is it gonna pop into the TV? No. Okay. This is just the, okay. Woo! <laughs> Can you tell I worked in a restaurant? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. These glass cups uh, come in the room. I'm sure we could have asked for other cups, but you know. Work with what we've got. Top All it right. up, top it up. Top it up. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. to hear the horn. I know that there are like horn battles sometimes. If that happens on the sailing, I will be over the moon. There's some noise down there. What's going on down there? They're still putting luggage on board. There's pallets of stuff, whatever, whatever stuff that may be. So it looks like all the luggage is on board now. I watched them take those carts away and now they're rolling them. They're rolling them out of here. 
yes, safety briefing will begin shortly. By now, most, if not all of you, will have been to your designated assembly station and checked in. However, if you have not visited your assembly station, we suggest that you make your way there now and check in immediately. Okay, we're back out. We grabbed a spot. Hopefully this is a good spot to watch the sail away party. checking out all the cute little details of the ship. Looks like deck 13 is an adult's deck. Let's go check up there what's going on. Wow, whoa. All right, there's a lot of wind. We are at the front of the ship and just taking it all in. That's, that's a breeze. There's server self soft serve ice cream. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna get some. Wait. Just push it down. Oh, oh no, I did it all wrong. There you go. Beautiful. Good job. I love seeing how people decorate their stateroom doors. Captain Mickey, that's a cool one. Oh, we came back to our room to watch the actual sail away after the sail away party. They're pulling this gangway, walkway, away off the ship. That's definitely a step in the right direction. Oh, noises have chilled. The ropes! Oh boy. We're untethering from the dock. Okay. We're moving. Ah! We're moving. Wow. I hear people cheering. Do you hear it? Yeah. They're like, yay, woo. Everybody's out watching. Doggone cool. See ya, Florida. See ya, Florida. See you in a little bit. In a few days. Ready to go? <laughs> Ready. From world class cuisine to Broadway caliber production shows, there is something for everyone here on board the Disney Dream. As this will be the last announcement that I will make inside your staterooms. I know there will be a lot of children taking naps the screws. And well, probably some of the adults taking naps to screws too. Mm -hmm. And I certainly don't want to disturb anyone. So when you hear the Disney chime, 
aren't they in your corridor? You can simply turn on your stateroom television to the main menu. And that way, you can choose whether or not you'd like to hear the announcements inside your stateroom. Mm. Also, speaking of your TVs, feel free to explore the features of your on-demand TV. Look at this sunset sail away. Stunning. Cheers, this is wonderful. The people in the restaurants are waving at us. That is, I've been the people out there waving at Disney cruise ships, not here, but like places. And now, where are the people on the ship? We're on the webcam. <laughs> Woo! Hi. Woo! Wow, someone's at high loud. <laughs> As we're sailing out, there are people like waving, saying hi, taking pictures. We are very close to being off, out, out of, away from land and out on the open sea. That dock is like the last point. These actually look like good spots to come and watch the cruise ships. So I'm making note of that. And that, I think that's the Coast Guard taking us out to sea, that tiny little boat. They're taking us out to sea. I want to see. Coast Guard ship is bouncing out there. I love hearing the waves. It's one of the best sounds in the world. Bye, Coast Guard. Thank you. Thank you for escorting us to sea. That's it. We're on the sea. Woof, indeed. and I love to stand in here looking out. This is incredible. Look at the ocean. We watched the ship take off. We're now in the open sea and we're gonna go watch Golden Mickeys. There are different shows. I know tomorrow night's Beauty and the Beast, but tonight is Golden Mickeys, but I'm sure that's not all we're gonna do tonight. We're, we're looking forward to a night of, I don't know what. Yeah, we got the later dinner time. Yeah. We didn't get, we couldn't choose because yeah. we booked it later mm -hmm. but I think we would have chosen, we would have anyway. chosen the later dinner yeah. time anyway because like families with young children tend to pick the earlier time so yeah. we have the later dinner that's right I forgot we still have dinner yeah. we got a lot to explore too <laughs> yeah all right let's go yeah. we're walking through the atrium and we can see the statue of Donald there's piano music So tonight? 10 minutes. Oh, they do open. Okay, we're gonna shop tonight. Sailing the Dream! <laughs> I need that Sailing the Dream shirt. Look, the Golden Mickeys. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is awesome. I love this. It's Art Deco. It's got Walt right front and center. What a beautiful theater. All the plush red velvet. Look at the boxes up there too. This is beautiful. Nicer than some theaters I've been to. Yeah, Not yeah. Shit. We're very excited for our first ever Disney Cruise show. I don't think that you're allowed to film the shows themselves, so I'm showing you the theater, the before the show starts. If there's anything I can show you, I will. If not, we'll see you after the show. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> that was a beautiful show. At first, I thought it was gonna be like a screen, like a show on a screen, and there are parts on the screen, but there are a ton of characters, really cool sets. There are pieces that come out of the floor, there's fog, there's confetti, there's uh, fire, there's like fireworks sparks. It is so, so pretty with a beautiful message. Just never give up on your dreams, believe in yourself, and just try. And 
Bob Iger's in the show, which, you know, it's, <laughs> it's just really good. And we loved it. And I did have tears in my eyes a few parts. So Golden Mickey's definitely do see it. Oh, and, and also um, Mickey and Minnie in their golden outfits. Beautiful. And in this theater, so there are two different show times and they correspond to your dinner. So we had the later dinner, so we saw the early show. If you have the early dinner, you see the late show. Tomorrow night we're gonna see Beauty and the Beast. And then look, it does look like um, Sunday night there's Disney's Belief. Cool. So you can get snacks here and drinks that you pay extra for. And look at the cool popcorn buckets. All right, it's a little bit overwhelming right now, but we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. I don't wanna spend too long showing you everything in here because there's so much, but I'll scatter it throughout the three days um, and just show you that I'm getting today this. Look at this. They have some spots around where you can do photos at certain times. The Cinderella one is beautiful. They got the glass slipper. Here's guest services. Wow, look outside. We are going so fast and I don't feel a thing. I was so worried about that and so, like I, I don't feel like we're moving at all. It doesn't feel like you're moving. Amazing. That is so beautiful. I can't wait to sit out there and just look at the endless ocean. <laughs> I used to play uh, that game, Endless Ocean. <laughs> We're gonna head to the district, and that is the sort of adults area with like bars and lounges. There's just so much going on but we just thought we'd get like a pre-dinner drink and like hang out and, and check those areas out because we haven't seen them yet. This is D-Lounge, it was like, like a trivia. Yeah, it looks like trivia. Ooh, this is cool. So after a certain time of night, it's 18 only, 18, 18 and over, uh, but it's mostly geared towards adults. Look how cool. And we got Pink, Evolution, Skyline Lounge, 687, District Lounge. I know Pink, the champagne bar, is one place I very much want to go, but the vibe in here is super cool. That part was like District Lounge. I don't know where we're going. It's like nightclubs and stuff in here. Ooh. It's fun to just walk around in Yeah, it is. Oh, Evolution opens at 7.30. It's a family dance party. Yeah, we didn't see, I think we, we passed by it. Like we came in through here, Pink was there. This was in like a corner. There was like restrooms in here. Evolution and then Skyline Lounge. All right, cool. That's where they're doing oh, that's the Skyline. Oh, they are? Beverage Seminar and Pro. So we couldn't sign up for any of these because they were all like sold out. But if you book early enough, then you can do like tastings. All right, let's check out Pink. Let's just see what it's like. It's so pretty and it smells so good in here. So this is like a pub. This is really cute and it looks like they're gonna do some 1970s music trivia, I guess. They got the ship up here. We're gonna have a drink at District Lounge first because they're gonna about to play some nice music in here. My name is Peggy, this is my friend Lizzie. Uh, and we're going to be playing some tunes for you for the next 25 minutes. Oh, thank you. I love a lounge that gives you little crunchies. Okay, all right. All right, we'll do it. <laughs> I think so, yeah. So good. So, so we did the thing where if you pay $16 for this cup, which you get to take home at the end of the cruise, you get 20 ounce beers for the price of 16 ounce throughout the cruise. We got just one of those and then I got a regular 16 ounce, but we just wanted the cup. He sold us on the mug, the cup thing. And I saw this before we came. Yeah, we did. This was one souvenir that I wanted. Yeah, it's really cool. Cheers. All right, that was wonderful. They're playing jams. The vibe is immaculate. We love it. 
now that evolution's open, just want to check it out and see what is going on in here. Oh boy, I hear dance party music. This is a family dance party, so it's kids right now, but we'll come back when it's adult stuff. This is the Skyland Bar, it's open now. This is just beautiful. Yeah, we'll definitely be back for this. This is really cool. So these backgrounds, you see like the spotlights are moving. This is really cool. Whoa, we are back outside. It's so warm and windy. Oh, it's like we're under the lifeboats here. This is the jogging track. Yeah, this is the jogging deck. Look at the waves. Oh my gosh, it is so crazy. It's so crazy how fast we're going. I can't even believe it. Look, like right over there, it's like a funnel of rain. It looks like a tornado. That looks just beautiful. Wow. It's almost our dinner time though, so we're gonna make our way to the dining room for tonight. Snow White is out and there's various characters throughout the cruise that'll be taking photos of people, but it is dinner time now. Oh yeah, this is like a game, midship detective agency. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Is that why I saw it move? Okay, I saw this earlier moving. Oh, okay, so I'll wait because we might do that tomorrow. Just a little bit of a line for dinner. They do rotational dining on Disney Cruises, which I think is so awesome. So that way everyone gets dinner at every restaurant. So tonight we were assigned to Enchanted Garden. Hello, thank you. Oh, it's beautiful in here, wow. Whoa, here's your table. Very nice. You get assigned your table on the app, so all right, I'm excited for dinner. So the ship is definitely moving, and it's funny because it feels like like a Jurassic Park moment. Like you can watch your drink and like see it moving ever so slightly. We both ordered the lobster ravioli as one of our appetizers. Thank you. We also both opted for the tuna and avocado tower. We're gonna share a wedge salad. There's a photographer walking around taking photos and since we purchased the photo package, those are gonna be included and I love that. And for dinner, we both selected the prime rib. So like with, we have the same taste. Yeah, we do. Good taste. Yeah, good taste, exactly. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. The prime rib with a twice baked potato. It looks lovely. Ooh, we're gonna get a little. Yes, please, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Time for dessert. I got the warm sticky date pudding with butterscotch sauce, vanilla ice cream, and phyllo crunch. And Sam got, oh, oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> and we got a Mickey bar, that is awesome. And Sam got the chocolate garden torque with coffee creme and caramel soil. Oh, that's, that's quite a feast right there. All done, that was lovely. This pretty fountain in the middle. Everything tasted great. The service was so friendly. We loved dinner here. So we are actually gonna now go to the health center to because they have free like medicines, medications for keeping you from getting seasick, which we feel fine right now, but we were definitely feeling it when the ship was moving at dinner, so this is more like just in case. I did bring a bunch too, but we're gonna get what they have, check it out. So that's on deck one, forward. We've also opted for taking the stairs instead of the elevator for pretty much everything. <laughs> we're because... go from one to eight, to eight after this. Yeah, and that's fine, we'll do it. Okay, here we go. And because we have the photo package, there are also a bunch of like backdrops you can go take photos at, so we just did that. Thank you! <laughs> okay, so you come down to deck one. Here it is, right here. So they have 
motion sickness medicine you can just come and just grab. Cool. And then here's some information. So if you need them, you can talk to them, but if you just wanna grab some, they do have it out here for free. So that's great. We're walking up to the top deck now. One more to go. Here's where the spa and salon is. Uh-oh, I got trapped. Here we go. <laughs> wow, Wendy. Wow. Just a smidge. Just a little bit of wind. Closed due to high wind, it says. Look at that. Look at the sign flapping around. That's how windy it is. That's the front of the ship. Yeah, that's the front. We wanted to go up there to have a peek around, but closed. Very windy. Very pretty at night, right? Yeah. Look at the funnel. Nice. It is so pretty, all lit up at night. This is incredible. Wow. Yeah, they're watching Cruella. This is so pretty at night. Pools are closed, people are out. Watching a movie on the funnel. I love this movie, it's so good. But yeah, beautiful. We're gonna walk around for a bit. And when you try to look out at the water right now, it is just, you can't see anything. the coolest way to watch a movie ever. This movie has the best soundtrack too. All right, back at the room. We are tired. It is almost bedtime. I got a cup of tea, but let's see if we got turned down service. We did! I knew this was a thing they did, but I wasn't sure if we would get it. So we got some little chocolates and I don't know, they just shaped it into something like a bow, like a, I'm not sure what it is, but I love it. They also did something really sweet. My phone charger was plugged in next to the side of the bed and it's a really long one. They like tied it up with a little Velcro strip for me so that I can like re redo it and undo it and that was really sweet. I think this is like a bow, I'm not sure. What do you guys think it is? It's hard to tell, I feel like when I'm editing I'm gonna be like, oh duh, it's clearly, maybe it's just a pretty design, I don't know. But, I love these little chocolates. Wow. We're enjoying our balcony. And look far out there, another cruise ship. We can see it from so far away. We can see like the white caps on the waves, I guess, glowing in the light of the ship. We are exhausted, but we had an amazing first day aboard the Disney Dream on our very first ever Disney cruise. I think we both loved it, right? Yeah, it's been great. I don't even know if we talked about dinner, but we loved everything we had, especially the prime rib. Yeah. I think the lobster ravioli was just okay to me, but the tuna tower. Oh, that was so good. We loved the tuna tower. We loved our prime rib. Mm -hmm. um, my dessert was just okay. Your dessert was amazing. Yeah. Mickey bar, just that chocolate has like pixie dust in it. All the snacks, everything, the service also amazing. So your wait staff, follows you through the rotational dining. So we'll see them again tomorrow night when we eat at I remember the name of it. Royal, Palace? Royal Palace. And then the last night we get Anim Animator's Palace. So yeah, you'll see that in the next video. Day two is gonna be a separate video because I have a feeling this is already long, but I mean, it's really exciting. It's our first time. And hopefully some of these things that we did help you if you're planning a cruise coming up, because I know even if you've cruised before, even with Disney, things change. Like things have changed so much and they continue to change. So even things like I watched from videos from a few months ago are very different now. So, oh yeah, the, the Navigator, the app, the Disney Cruise Line app that you use has been amazing. There's maps of the ship in there. We've been able to like, you go through the daily activities and you put a heart 
next to the things you like and then you'll get notifications for them. So it'll tell you, like you don't have to remember like, oh, I want to do this at four and this at five. So today I hearted a few things, we did some of them, but tomorrow I hearted a bunch of things, knowing we're not gonna do all of them, but so that we have the option and the app will give me the notification. Oh, also another tip is that you do get a certain amount of free internet on your first day. So we used it and we were able to like send a few texts, check some notifications, like, you do have to pay for internet on the ship and it's really expensive so we're not doing that but we use your free allotment like why not it comes well free included in the cost of the ship nothing's free everything's included you get 50 megabytes 50 megabytes for the first day and i didn't even use all of mine yeah i i've got three megabytes left. <laughs> you used it more than me yeah. but the ships the app works on the ship wi-fi so that doesn't count against it it's just if you want to like do anything on the internet outside of that so that's a tip for you and we'll just keep coming at you with all the good stuff tomorrow. Hope you're enjoying our first cruise and I don't know, we're just we're just so tired. <laughs> There's so much to do and yeah. it's like when you when we first got on it was a little overwhelming yeah. but we've quickly feel like we've acclimated. It up. We're yeah. getting pros at the navigator app yeah. and and the sh Yeah. <laughs> first day pros. Yeah, first day pros. Tomorrow hopefully we can do the pool, the aqueduct, I don't know, everything. But I'll see you for the next video for day 2 of this cruise good night thank you so much sending you all a ton of love mm. uh, that was sam yawning we're so tired all right see you next time stay enthused bye